Praise the sun. I am at work until until 9 p.m., but I can still be here. I'm very ahead on work, so. The other thing is I have to break down this entire palette because they, they gave me two palettes, right? One palette had almost nothing on it, and one palette had about 500 pounds of shit on top of the bananas. So, uh, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately. I was about to say, y'all get bananas? A liquor store? What the fuck? Damn, that's like that time I bought Gushers at Radio Shack. It was like that time we bought literally anything but tires at Canadian Tire. We did not. <laughs> we realized it the day after. From, from what I gather, it sounds kind of like a Canadian Buffy's or something. Yeah, so, what Bucky's is, is technically it's a gas station, but it is also a jet, it is also a department store, and restaurant, and merch shop, yeah. Oh! That sounds that I, I like the idea that Hey. Hot dogs are good money. Hot dogs are good money. Um, we were doing a thing. <laughs> now you're here. But, uh, I owe you one. There's Oh yeah, there's been uh what's it called? So I've been having a lot of fun recently with my Game Boy emulator on my phone. It's been making me very happy because I'm getting to go back and play games from when I was very young. Uh but you know, under the guise of actually being good at video games and knowing what the hell I'm doing. Instead of being a super fucking kid who couldn't, like, who was, like, too nervous to tell his second grade teacher he didn't know how to count to a hundred. It's okay, I, I taught myself. Yeah, or er, wait, no, was I early on counting to 100? I don't remember. I remember I was like, I didn't tell, like, like, I, I remember teaching myself how to count to 100 because, uh, like, I could count to, like, third, into the 30s, and then I didn't know, like, I don't know why. I just, like, couldn't figure out what went after that. And then, like,
Yeah. That was the first time I school to finish the Harry Potter series. I mean, I've told, I, I've told, I'm pretty sure I've told the story before about how I broke the one uh, reading comprehension test. I used to love reading, and I was, I, I would read super fast. And I still think I read pretty fast. Like, I've yet to have a. Uh, no, I finished Danganronpa 1 and 2 in about half a week, yeah. Yeah, I, I, my ass did not listen to the voice acting. <laughs> That's true. Welcome back. But yeah, I... Dog. But yeah, I. Uh, it's funny. I have yet to play a game where uh, the text pops up any faster than I can read it. It's okay. It's okay. The dog has awareness. Oh, God. Alright, who gave- who gave Karl Maru self-awareness? That- that's concerning. Oh, I, uh, apparently the trailer for the new Crow movie came out. I haven't seen it, though. But I, uh, like, the major complaints a lot of people have is, uh, why, why does Eric Draven have so many fucking tattoos? And it's like, uh, I don't know, he seems like the kind of guy you'd probably have a few. It's like, at least one, but, like, I have seen the look of the crow, and it's like, yeah, okay, why does he have, like, both sleeves? What the fuck? Yeah, and, like, I guess in the modern day I could see... Like, here's the thing, right, is that what's important to the character of the Crow is how much Eric Draven loved his wife. Oh, shit! But, yeah, the, the most important feature of the Crow is how much he, he loved his wife, you know? Right? Which, you know, that's the whole thing. Can you hear me? Oh. But, uh, okay. Yeah, so he, he loves his wife. That's, that's like the most important character trait about Eric Draven. It is the whole reason that dude comes back to life. 
Along with, like, the weird other Native American thing that happens in the comics, but whatever. I don't even think that happens in the original iteration of The Crow. I think that happens later. Do you remember me? I used to play Shogi with But, uh... So, like, I could totally see him having, like, his wife's name tattooed on his arm or something. But, like, to have a ton of tattoos all over... Like, I could see him having two, maybe three. Because, like, you know, he, he was an artist, so, you know, he would be very much about expressing himself. Yeah, they were kind of seen as thuggish. gang insignia and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, Jared, not a joke, but... Uh, yeah, so, but, like, I, I, and then another thing that people are saying is, like, why the fuck is the crow so goddamn skinny? And I was like, actually, that's, that's pretty comic accurate. Draven was kind of a string bean. He, he, he was pretty skinny when you compare him to, like, most superheroes. Because, you know... It's not like that's what he was planning to do with his life. Like, he just happened to become the crow. It's not something he planned on. But I'll have to watch the trailer to actually, like, make an opinion on it. Because, like... It, the crow is such a, like, deeply personal story to the artist. I would genuinely feel bad if they fucked it up. I, I should have I should have read it. I was over there. It's part of his grieving process. The actual... Yeah. Yeah. Also, the actual art of the crow is fucking beautiful. It makes such good use of the fact it is made in, like, entirely black and white. Like, oh man, the crow coming out from the shadows, the shading on those scenes is... Mm. But, yeah, the crow is... Just in general, one of the best written characters ever. Like, it's just a phenomenal piece of art. And, like, it's a shame because, like, we talked about this before, but The Crow is, like, a potentially genuine cursed piece of media. Like, like something horrific always happens. Like, it, it's like, I feel so bad 
about like because like you know this artist creates like what would go on to be his legacy the crow will be talked about long after he is gone and all it has ever done is make his life worse And that is so fucked up. Or Maru? You did well. Well, yeah, dog. Do you know? Do you know how hard it is to make dog not fun? You have to. You have to like do Pujo. But if you do, then Koromaru must be happy. Yeah. Uh, there's actually, I think, another good example of a dog made as, like, some kind of, like, malevolent being is, uh, I think the Sandlot does a pretty good job of it, where, like, it, it is a movie about kids playing baseball. It's a very good movie. Um... Oh. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Yippee! What the fuck? But uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh... in the Sandlot, they uh, there's this like, like essentially, there's this massive dog that okay, everyone's afraid of. They call strange. it the Beast. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, really... like does oh. it not? Apparently, I am audible now. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> oh, okay. What the Fascinating. Heck? I don't know what's going on with my setup. I have no idea. Because, like, everything's exactly how I originally set it up that works, so I don't know. Be good to each other. Yeah. Will you? Well, but yeah, so the beast is the main, like, evil force in uh in what's it called uh in the sandlot movie right but in reality it's just a really big dog that just like is owned by an old man so he doesn't like so like and the like everyone's afraid of the old man and he has this giant dog they're all afraid of but the dog isn't actually like that bad we gotta help this old man with his dog. Yeah. And it turns, like, it turns out that, like, the old man is actually, like, a former professional. Well, it's a good movie. We'll have to watch it sometime. I'd, I'd rather not watch anything where, where a dog could potentially die, so... Oh, no, the dog doesn't get hurt at all. Uh -oh. The dog just chases a kid at the end, and then... They, and then, like, he gets caught, like, and then they realize, oh, the dog's actually, like, super <laughs> nice, dog? he was just trying to play with you. Abe, Abe in the chat, what the dog doing? What the dog doing? He, he, dog he wants doing? to play fetch. Riley was very strange today, and we were, like, all wondering why, and then we realized that my dad went and dropped off the, his, like, our taxes to our accountant. And, um... Y'all have a fucking accountant, oh my god. <laughs> and the accountant has, um, has a dog as well. So that's why uh. I, get, I get highlights. Oh, I've always... Okay, when I dyed my hair pink and purple, um, back in January, they had to, to bleach it. So this is just the bleach from the pink and the purple. Because, <laughs> like, um... The pink and the purple have, like washed out now um aww that's so nice you walked to your neighbor's dog that's really cute oh well, we uh we Alice 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 hissed at me today so you know <laughs> very nice to know that yeah. your cat is still a cat <laughs> cause that's what cats do they hiss at you no, Ozzy never- Ozzy only hissed, like, three times that I can recall, and he wasn't particularly good at it either. I love how Igus can just fucking, like, 
Uh, am I going to dye it again? I might. I'm gonna try and see if I can get in with my hairstylist and re-dye it. Um, cause that would be fun. Um, but I love how I guess can just speak dog. She just knows exactly what Romaru <laughs> is saying. I believe yeah, that's how that works. It, it does! Robot, hear dog and go, ah yes, you speak English. Good job. Let's do it again. Sure. I guess is actually secretly a Necron. Nah. <laughs> Fucking Universal Translator. Hecking, hecking Beto, Balto. Oh, oh, that's a movie, isn't it? Balto. I don't think I've ever seen. I that. think so. I'm always terrified to watch mo today, movies Kona, that like so have dogs in them because I'm terrified or. Or even cats in them, because I'm terrified that they're gonna die. <laughs> Let's go and give those kids their back. No, dog dies. Okay. Yeah, no, the, 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 in the Sandlot, the whole point of it is that they make everything out to be way scarier than it is because they're 12. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> so the dog isn't actually scary. It's just like a mastiff. Yeah, it's just a big dog. It, it's just a really fucking big dog. So yeah, of course they're terrified of this thing. Granted, because they're. I will admit that bigger dogs actually do kind of scare me a little bit, and that is because yeah, they I don't seem to. That is because I had an experience with one. Um, I had a babysitter at one point who had a oh, German boy. Shepherd. And the German Shepherd was just very aggressive and, you know, liked to eat its own shit. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, and then it tried biting me at one point, or, like, I tried biting my knee at one point, and I, it smeared its own shit all over me. Yeah. Uh, that was fun. I didn't like it, and I was very upset, and I refused to talk to my babysitter for, like, f like three weeks after that. Like, I would literally just come in, like, after school, she'd pick me up from school, I'd come in, I'd sit on her couch, and I'd wait until my parents came pick me up at, like, six. I'd be like, nope, wow. not even gonna talk to anyone, not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> and then wow. shortly, And then shortly after that, my parents were like, okay, yeah, like... Okay, she's getting old enough at this point because at that at that point I was like twelve, like eleven or twelve, and I wow. was like, I, I don't know why. And then my parents were like, you know what? She is kind of getting old enough that she doesn't really need a babysitter, babysitter, um, but she does need somebody like to watch her. Obviously, I didn't have, and so what happened was I would. Um, I would go to, or I, I, I don't remember. I went to, oh, I went to my friend's house after school after that, because her mom was a stay-at-home mom. One time I was chased down the block by a dog in Mexico when I was 12 or something. So some abuelita s saw me running and crying and comforted me. Aww. <laughs> Yeah, bigger dogs scare me, man. I don't know. I, I And, like, that is the thing, is, like, when I was dating my ex, he was all about, like, oh, if we're gonna have dogs, then I want a German Shepherd. I want a big, big dog. And I was like, no, I'm absolutely against bigger dogs. One, because the chances of us having to live together, it would probably be within a small apartment. And it's not fair to have a large dog like that in a, in a small apartment, just in my opinion. Like, just, if you're gonna have, if you're gonna live in a small apartment, you can't have a big dog, because they need the space. They need bigger, more yeah. space, right? Yeah. Just, uh, oh. obviously, right? And yes, we can take it on walks and stuff, but, like, you'd have to take it on, like, multiple walks every single day, because you could not be able to, like, you just couldn't. Especially, like, a German shepherd, yeah. because, surprise, surprise, they're meant to run around big fields. Yeah. Like, they're meant so. to be... Welcome back. The, like, they're meant to be, like, bigger 
like they meant to be doing big stuff, you know. Anyways. Yeah. Um. So we can watch. If I ever, if I ever had a dog. Or we, we, we hang out with Junpei. If I ever had a dog, like if I had a house to accommodate, I would want a husky. Or a lab. Um. Some large breeds do fine in apartments. They do have larger bladders, so conceivably they could go on wa less walks. Yeah, it's not so much that that they have to go pee. It's more so they need to let out their energy, and they need space to let out their energy. Like, obviously, Riley, we have a large backyard, but we still take him out on a walk and, like, all that stuff. Yeah, grey like greyhounds don't little, usually yeah, like it yeah, like it just depends on, on it also depends on the dog's personality and everything too. Some dogs just are lazier than others. You know, that sort of thing, right? And it just it just uh, to me it doesn't seem fair to the dog to kind of let it live in such a cramped environment and I was always and I always told my ex I'm like I don't think we should go for bigger dogs if we're going to be living in like a small apartment together you know like it just it's not fair to the dog right and and yeah. I also told yeah. him I also told him like I'm not comfortable around big dogs I don't like bigger dogs I like my dogs on the smaller side medium I walked April, my neighbor's dog, for two miles, 30 minutes, and she still had so much energy. Exactly. Like, look at Riley. He, he's constantly full of energy. All right. We have yeah, so The only much. thing about, uh, if, because I do, my favorite dogs are, like, huskies and labs. Not exactly you. But the only thing about a husky yeah. is that huskies, they, they, they need to fucking run. Yeah. Like, they're, they are uh, full uh, of energy. Uh, they are they energetic are dogs, dogs. Right? Just like they Riley. Need... Riley is a hunting dog. He needs a lot of activity. He needs to to sniff. He needs to, like, search. That's ingrained in his, his you know, biology. Do you ever, like, right? do you ever, like, hide treats for him to find? We have, it's like a, it's like a little plastic, it's about this big. Right. Well, you can't see me, but like it's about yeah. the size of my <laughs> it, it's about the size of my monitor, which is about twenty two inches, and okay. Uh, so it's around there, and it's got all of these little secret pockets and little holes, and like these little flip up cup, like little cups, and you fill it full of uh, yeah. either treats or their kibble or whatever. Right. We usually use his kibble because we don't want him eating too many treats. So we put like li just little tiny bits of his kibble in and into all these hiding spots. And then you put it on the ground and then you kind of have to encourage him to start looking for them. So like what I do is I like I will flip up one of the one of the little um, flaps, uh, and, he, yeah. and he realizes, oh, there's food here. So then he, and he's actually really good. Like he knows how to move the, like because you can actually slide them and there's more underneath. He knows how to move them and stuff. He knows he's got to flip up. He's got to take the there's there's ones where there's caps where you take it off. And then there's ones where the caps you flip up. And he he knows how to take oh. those off. He knows how to flip it flip it up. He knows how to slide the little plastic containers over so he can find the he's very good at it. Like he he knows. Well, right? And Well, yeah, I'm sure it's a very stimulating activity and, for him. And it does. It takes him a good like thirty to forty minutes to actually get everything out, right? Sometimes he'll lose interest halfway through and, and you know, go play with something else or do something else. But like he it it does like it does stimulate the the kind of like hunting aspect of his biology where he he wants to yeah, sniff it scratches out, that know? itch yeah exactly that's cool uh, I know that what's it called uh, what we used to do uh, with with Ozzy because Ozzy never really liked toys mm -hmm. Alice never really liked me um. Mm -hmm. But what I used to do with Ozzy would be I would have my mom take him into another room and then I would put treats somewhere in you know, like on the floor where Ozzy could find them and we'd see how long it would take for him to locate them. 
like we'd put them under like a little plastic solo cup or something. Yeah. And like he would start sniffing around and he would be looking. And like it's so funny he never like he never like quite understood that they were always underneath like a, a, a the plastic cup or anything. Hmm. So he would still take like three or four minutes to find them. Okay, so Mitsuru doesn't want to go to the movies. Does Yukari want to go hmm. to the movies? She doesn't want to. Uh, what about Junpei? I miss that kitty. Nice. Okay, what? Jun Junpei doesn't. Who the fuck wants to go to the goddamn movies? I guess. Can I ask? I guess. I have a suggestion. Koromaru san has an intense desire. Are we gonna take the dog to the fucking movies? Furthermore, it appears if he does not go today, he will not be able to. Please, the dog want the dog wants to go to the fucking movies. Oh so this is a, my this god! This is a special. This is a special interaction. I, I've seen how this plays out. I think I've seen how this plays out too. Enrichment. It is, however, extremely funny. Okay. What time is okay. It? How do we how do we sneak this dog into the movies? Uh, spoilers. Um. Can I can I just claim that it's? Can I just claim that it's a, it's my emotional support animal? And I need him. Mm, I insisted Koromaru was just a stuffed doll, but management kicked me out. Bro, I work for this place. I should be able to bring my fucking dog. Aww. Oh yeah, big announcement, Abe. Um. With the cast, the the person who's been cast as Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic Three has finally been announced. It's fucking Keanu Reeves. Hell yeah. John Wick. John Wick is, is Shadow the Hedgehog. Is Shadow the Hedgehog. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go! And somehow I acquired <laughs> this information before Volt. Stream ripped? Oh, we back. Oh, he. Oh, he got stuck. He uh, didn't hear it. He didn't hear the announcement. Yeah. So big announcement today. We know who's playing Shadow the Hedgehog in uh in Sonic Three, and it's Keanu Reeves. Drop some frames. Interesting. It's not dropping frames on my screen, which is weird. I would hope not. Okay, so nobody wants to. Who, who is. Everybody's down here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Ken's here. Hey, Ken, what are you doing? Well, I. I was. Thought there was something I had to do. The more I thought about it, the more hesitant I became. I, but I've made up my mind. The next chance I'll get, I'll do it. Yes. He's gonna fucking murder a dude. <laughs> this, <laughs> this child is gonna pull a fucking Glock out on Shinji. <laughs> I may be out of SP, but I'm not out of <laughs> uh, Where do I get that fucking drink that Elizabeth wants? I saw a great, a great post on Twitter. It was like all of the Persona teams, <laughs> all of the Persona teams, uh, get, get into a death battle with no powers. Who comes out on top? And like all the responses were, "So how many bullets did Naoto bring?" <laughs> I, Abe just said, "I just heard fucking John Wick." And then he goes, I have a second cousin who's really obsessed with Sonic. At Easter, they had a Sonic shirt and the red and white Sonic shoes. The soap shoes? Yo. Bro, bro fucking so Well, no, the soaps are... I doubt they had those. Those, those, those are expensive. But yeah. Yeah, so we got... 
Oh, right, we have shit on the shared computer that we can do. Virtual diet. Animal- Forget what, what the hell was the name of that goddamn movie we just watched last night, Aid? It's like five. It's hilarious. <laughs> Soaps are really underground. Yeah, man. Virtual diet. Now you two can have a slim body without having to suffer through exercise. First, train yourself to curb your appetite by looking at blue food. Looking at all the blue food on screen is making me lose my appetite. Is this a fucking, like, starve yourself fucking... I don't like that. I feel like I have a slimmer, more Social media! Oh, I don't like that. Popular. Yeah, what was the Anyways, name of that I think movie? I should show off a... my shirt that I'm currently wearing. It's got Agent Dale Cooper on it, and it says "Damn Good Coffee," and that's in honor of uh, Kyle MacLachlan being in the Fallout series, and I'm very excited about that. Not only is he in it. He plays a very main- But he's one of the main plot points. Yeah, he's one of the main plot points. Yeah, he is! <laughs> he's the main reason for one of the characters leaving the vaults. Also, that show, unironically, what the fuck happened? Like, why is it good? Yeah. Okay, so who- Well, I know the answer to that. It's because the people, the people wanted to make the show- because while they were making a different show, um, the the writer's wife or, or the producer's wife, yeah, started playing Fallout Four. Uh, so okay, he must be like sixty. That's and, so dope. Uh, I've yet to watch an episode. How f we're we're four episodes in? No, yeah, we're four episodes in. Yeah, four episodes in. We we just finished. We the just fourth. watched episodes three and four last night. Yeah, yeah. so. And apparently there's ten episodes, so we're not quite oh, halfway. Neat. Yeah, we're not quite halfway through. Uh oh, who else is texting me? No, we're not going but, to uh, visit you. But yeah, so and they're like 45 minutes. And they're what, the first one is like an hour. They're over and an half. hour. It's like an hour. Yeah, and each half. episode I think is over an hour. None of them want to go to. Excuse me. But, uh... None of them want to go to the movie festival? Okay, whatever. But the, yeah, so... The reason why it ended up being good is because the, uh, the wife of the producer or whatever uh, started playing Fallout 4, probably, like, got, like, got it off of Games Pass or something. I don't know. Yeah, and she was, like, but, really into it. And she fell in love with it, and then, uh... He he was watching her play and was like, "What? This world is crazy." And it it like, yeah. And then they played New Vegas. One of the, yeah, like the thing is, is that like, you need to know that like everyone behind the scenes of this show really fucking loves Fallout. The only person at the like reading table who had never played the games. Was the ghoul. <laughs> oh, he's fucking killing it. And he's the fucking best character in the show. He's honestly like, the coolest no fucking joke. character. He but, is absolutely fucking And I mean that with it. no bias, because even though I love ghoul characters and I love the ghouls in Fallout, he's still, the, the, like, even if he wasn't a ghoul, he is still the coolest character. Bro, well, he could be a rando ass wastelander, but he's just so unfathomably cool that it's just like, oh, all right, well, this is this is like a fucking high level player character, okay? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's been alive for over two hundred years. Two hundred and some odd years, you know. Yeah. Is there a good reason y'all are never in Frog voice chat? Uh, I don't know. We just are always... Usually because we start talking, like, at 11 p.m. Yeah. I understand their reasoning. And because, uh, like... sleep is... Yeah. Yeah, most people are asleep <laughs> when we're talking. Yeah, yeah, genuine, 
genuinely the reason is because usually we're either just watching like random meme videos or we're starting at or starting to talk and hang out at like 11 p.m mm. so and we just don't want like people don't... to like like if they're they're trying to sleep if they if they yeah, we don't want to like add everyone at 11 p.m. Yeah, or, or yeah. like, or like, you know, if somebody does have their notification, I know a lot of people don't have their notifications on for like channels like I do. Like, I don't have any of like I mute every channel or every server that I'm in, like even my own. <laughs> um, and like, I, I know that there's some people who don't know how to do that, or they haven't done that, or they don't do that, so they just get, like, a spam of, of, like, messages, like, and then, yeah, like, I get it, like, I just don't want people to annoy people if people yeah. have their notifications on or whatever. If we lose that tree, I mean, what's it called, the, the, what's it called, the first, the day we watched everything, I think I was actually streaming Batman that day, and I was like, the moment... If we fucking capture Riddler. No. <laughs> the, we, or was that the next no, day? No, because I remember I streamed The Sims. Oh, I, yeah, I built, yeah. Yeah. I did, yeah. I did, I did finish... The, Ava, I yeah. did finish uh, Garfelf as well. Not that it was really yeah. that great. So you're saying everyone gets alerted when you join? No, I don't think so. But, like, I'm, I'm obviously not, but I don't know. We just don't. We just yeah. 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 We try to minimize the ad, everyone's. Yeah, and we try to minimize like spamming, like because we send pictures to each other, like memes and stuff all the time, right? So we don't want to yeah. like, spam the the server. Um. So we yeah. we just kind of stick to our little tiny group chat. Yeah, and again, usually we aren't watching anything of note. Like, we'll just watch, like, whack-ass internet videos, Ordinary Sausage, stuff like that. Fighting, I was just fussing. Or, for about a year, we would be watching something about Scooby-Doo. We still haven't finished that. <laughs> There's a fucking season two of Velvet! Uh, has it even started yet? I hope not. No, it hasn't. Yeah. Scooby Doo, the thirteen ghosts of Scooby Doo, was no, it was um Shaggy and Scooby Doo get a clue. Yeah, that was what fucking stopped us. Yeah, we just we we watched about three or four episodes of that. Three we episodes, like, and we were like, this is fucking intolerable. We were like, we can't do this. We can't. <laughs> we were so do <laughs> we were so Scooby Doo'd out <laughs> at that point that we were just like, no. Because, like, here's the thing, right, is that we finished 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, and then we watched Scooby-Doo and the 13th Ghost, and that was good! Yeah. Like, the, the 13th Ghost, that was a good, that was a good movie. Damn. But, and, like, you know, positive thing to come out of it, we've determined that, in fact, m most of what we've watched we've actually enjoyed, regardless of its actual quality. See, dear? Exactly like, there's very saying. few Scooby-Doo shows that are just bad. Yeah. Like, I, I've been seeing clips recently of, uh, Be Cool Scooby-Doo, and apparently that show is fucking hilarious. It's just got an atrocious art style. Oh my. Yeah. Don't make fun of this wrinkled old lady. But, one of these days we'll get back to it. Yay, um, still we are absolutely closer to the old people. Their but son yeah, absolutely died and the tree is uh... dying. Stop oh. My wife would always be happy to see such but, handsome young Yeah, the uh what's it called? Unmatched S tier still has to be uh Mystery Incorporated. Yeah, Mystery Incorporated is literally the best like Scooby Doo thing ever. I'm not even lying. And the creators... The creators it's, just it's randomly so throw in Twin Peaks references yeah, here and there. Down. Like... No, the original Twin creators Peaks is apparently, are Scooby-Doo. Like, Twin Peaks is apparently just canon to the Scooby-Doo fucking universe? Okay! <laughs> like, what? But, no, the, the actual creators of Scooby-Doo have like, apparently, like, really hated that show. Like, the original creators. Yeah. Um, they, they apparently despised it. Why? 
it's like literally the best adaptation. Um, it, it is the best like evolution of the source material ever produced um, by a country mile. It is so much better. Right? I don't know. They just. But the know. reason they didn't like it is because they said it was too dark. Yeah, and I get it. They, like it does Which have is like, some moments. Yeah, but... It does have some moments where it's like But oh, it's fine. Should we be measuring the pH of the soil or monitoring how much sunlight they're getting? I mean we're doing this at night, Fuka. I I don't think they they're getting sunlight right now. It's it's nighttime. But uh Yeah, no, I think I think that uh that what's called the do you, know like, what I just, do you know what I just found out recently about uh Fuka? What? Her her English L Lemon? No, well that too, but oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> But her English voice actor in Reload is also the English voice actor for Makima in Chainsaw Man. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Those two are vastly different fucking characters. It's all range. <laughs> I, I know, but still. I do like flowers and stuff, but I've never really worked with them outside of arrangements. But, uh, I do kind of yeah. hear it in the, in her voice, though. Like I, I can, yeah. To try putting in the work to grow some, though. Yeah, the... But that's fucking hilarious to me. As oh, as far as movies for Scooby Doo goes, though, Zombie Island was it is still absolutely unmatched just like fantastic animation great story yeah and i think our funniest one is that we put scooby-doo monsters unleashed Do you think you above the first live action movie noting that while monsters unleashed is a way worse movie it is so much more fun to watch I guess. I don't remember. I like... Listen, we, we're gonna probably have to restart the, all of those. Because I don't remember half of our fucking rankings. Ever. I remember all of it. Alright. Fair enough. Because I remember we put, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's new Scooby-Doo is just it's middle of C tier. Oh, it's Crow's birthday. It's fine. It's Crow's birthday in the oh game. Oh my god. Everybody say happy birthday to Crow in game. Oh, and Mitsuru's at our house. I, Sorry. I don't know how to... Uh, we got... Uh, happy birth. Happy birth. Uh, yeah, be right there. I was planning on Good morning. video gaming but all day, but okay. <laughs> the chairman is happy busy. emergence day. <laughs> He's gonna be like... Did you just add him in the Discord channel? Me? No, oh no, it's them. They're talking about how Keanu Reeves is now Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, the chairman's visiting. When the time comes, let's all meet up in the command room. Okay. I'll see you then. Alright. The chairman is visiting, but not the hat man? We haven't taken up Benadryl yet for that, okay? <laughs> Maybe when I will I finally it. have some fun? Can we... <laughs> <laughs> I love the, like, the hat man, like, subreddit. Just a warning, the hat man is transphobic if you take 600 milligrams. <laughs> Nobody wants to go to the fucking... <laughs> movies! I'm angry! Alright, let's go hang out with Mamoru then. Alright, here we go. Yep. Hey, Costanza, what's up? Wanna grab some chow? Hell yeah. Yes. Alright then. We're slurping up some ramen. Man, I've never actually been to Kintan. Which is a ramen restaurant that I order from all the time. I order it on Uber and then, but like I've never actually been to the restaurant. I think that's what I want to do for my birthday next year. 
is to just go to a ramen restaurant. That'd be fun. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I get to eat here for free. What? He eats for free? Not just here, but every restaurant in the strip mall. Every what? Every restaurant gives him free food. What the fuck? I'm the only one eat as much as I want. Uh, the I track want. star dude. Bro, yeah. beat him up in the alleyway. Like I'm taking advantage of their kindness, so sometimes I pay the bill anyway. Just sometimes? Wow, bitch. Someday hm? I'll pay them back for everything. Scale right there. What? Ah. Well, that was answering a question. Oh. <laughs> For now, He's at work. I gotta take whatever I can get. I am. That's why All I right. have to make it big. It's for everyone who's been helping me. What Sounds like a is... lot of pressure. Eight I'm gonna be dead at the end of the year. Oh yeah? You think you're so cool? I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking and die and remember. become a door, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, your fucking mic just went <laughs> All that matters is Sorry, don't worry about it. By the way, who would you say is your biggest rival? Is that watermelon all out here? I need to cut a lot. You're pretty good, but you're a light years away from my level, pal. What yeah, happened yeah. to the watermelon? Fuck you, dude. There isn't really anyone left who I want to compete with. The other guys on my team can't even keep up with me. I guess what I'm looking for is well, a real challenge. Well, hey, I know of a blue hedgehog. Maybe, no, 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 no. maybe we can get you uh, racing Sonic blue. the Hedgehog, dude. Blue, blue hedgehog. We even reach new limits together. Well, we did it. We did rank up into star thing magic. <laughs> I just saw the picture of your Sims 4 face. <laughs> the ninth division. That's what they called the. Uh, okay, I couldn't put ninth division of the Minutemen. It was too long. Yeah. <laughs> so I just had to shorten it down to ninth I, division. I I understand that, but the concept of a group of people in the Sims all living in a house together, and like on on their mail it just says to Ava Deadwood of the ninth division. Ava but Jones. there's no minute men. She's not married. Yeah, to she's, Ava not ma she's not married to Daryl yet. <laughs> to Ava oh. Jones of to Ava Jones ninth of the ninth division or something. But there's no minute men, and they're not a military family or something. Oh, I do want to. Like, I, I do want to make a bunker for them. I think that would be a fun stream. Because, one, I, I, I'm i still pretty new to the whole, like, Sims 4 build mode, build by mode. So, like, watching me build something is going to be fucking hilarious. Especially since I want to make them an underground bunker. That'll be... That'll be fun. <laughs> it's a shame there's no, like, really cool uh, Fallout custom content props. And, there is. Uh, there is. Oh, there is? Fuck. Uh, there's tons of oh. fucking Fallout custom content for the Sims 4. But there's none of it for any of the D&D map creators. Hmm. 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 Curious. Excuse me. I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh fuck. Ken's joining us. Yeah, just strike him down. Huh? Hi, child that's been living with us for the past month. Don't, don't say it like that. <laughs> I fucking love Akihiko. He just stood up from the couch and goes, No fucking way. <laughs> We've confirmed he has more than enough potential. Hi guys, look at this ten year old child I found. He has the potential for a persona. So why? His mom died. Uh, Ooh. Oh, is that is that true? Does does the whole thing it isn't so the potential for a persona in this in this game is you have to lose someone close to you or something? Something like that, I think. Weird. Well, okay, Weird. let's let's think of it this way. We have the protagonist. He lost both of his parents in a car accident. Okay. Maybe you have to be like 
you have to have seen death or something. Uh, Yukari, her dad died. She never saw her dad die, but sh her dad died. Uh, Junpei lives... His father is a raging alcoholic who is very abusive he towards dies. him. Um, and I don't know where his mother is. We don't know if she's dead or if she just left. Uh, Akihiko... She's a professional. Akihiko lost his... Both... Well, his parents and his little sister. Um... Fuka has both of her parents. Uh, so, obviously, it doesn't apply to her. Mitsuru obviously doesn't have a mother, so I'm assuming her mother passed away. It's never really stated in canon. Um, and then I guess is a fucking robot. <laughs> um, and then Ken, he watched his mother die because Shinji killed his mom. Um, accident hmm. Accidentally, but still... That's what happened. This is what happens when Shinji doesn't get in the fucking robot. Yeah, Mitsuru has a good point here. He's only in elementary school. Maybe we don't recruit the ten-year-old child into our like militia, our like mini That's miniature fine. militia. <laughs> it's fine. Besides, it's fine. All right, Big Boss did it. We're we're fine. We've already confirmed he has the potential. With training, he should be a valuable asset to the team. Also, I do want to I do want to state that in the original development for P like Persona Three, the original Persona Three, um, do you want to know what they based this the the entire story of Persona Three off of? Uh, what? Evangelion, <laughs> <laughs> which. It makes very much a lot of sense with how they're recruiting new members and things in this. It's just, oh, uh, <laughs> and like, yeah, just like character archetypes and stuff. It's it, it's very um. Every it's very Persona on game the nose. is a very. Every Persona game is a very loosely disguised adaptation of something else. Pretty much. Did he say? I mean, there's the classic. Part 4 and uh, JoJo Part 4 Persona 4 are the same fucking thing. Yeah, but I think Persona 4 was also just inspired by, like, murder mysteries in general. Not yeah. just... I Obviously, there is the big major, like, connections between JoJo Part 4 and Persona 4, but, like, at the same time, I think Persona 4 kind of takes more inspiration from just murder mysteries in general. Um, yeah. And then obviously Persona 5 is very much inspired by Lupin the Third and like Sherlock Holmes and you know that sort of thing. So yeah. And Persona 6 is going to be based on Skibbity Toilet. I hope so. <laughs> Actually, it was my idea. Wow, Ken. How First you, off, you came up with Persona 5. Ken, I have a question. How did you figure it out? Figure it out? We we kept it a secret from you. Despite the fact that you were living with us. I feel like I can help too. Can you? And I think I finally understand why I have this power. How First off, I don't think you've ever yeah, this must realized be so that you have so much more interesting power. if you can actually see what's happened. Well, you know, you could always hit... I am screen sharing, by the way. But I am at work. <laughs> well, don't you, like, look at your phone anyways? Uh, not really. I use a knife a lot at work. So do I. <laughs> I don't really look away from where I have my knife. It was his own decision. For safety reasons. Try not to get in anyone's way. Wow. I look forward to working with you as well. Thanks, I guess. Very cool. Uh, don't push yourself, okay? I shouldn't be using this. I'm gonna lose the last one. Thank you, Costanza San. Very cool. <laughs> the fact that I I named him George Costanza. <laughs> And now I and, and now I'm gonna have to like witness his death, and, <laughs> and all 
this like serious It'll be like shit. end of Evangelion, except it's gonna be the Seinfeld cast. Yeah. I'm pretty sure- I don't sure. know what- I, I don't I'm even know what the fuck I'm talking about. No, I'm pretty sure there's already like a fan edit of- <laughs> Of, like- I know there's a fan edit of the Seinfeld like opening, but set to Cruel Angel's thesis or whatever. So, <laughs> potentially the most famous anime opening of all time. Hey, don't worry, kid. We got your back. Look, Akihiko is not happy about this. He's like this. I don't is think a Akihiko shot. is ever happy. He is. He's always happy when he's fighting. No. And okay, he's well. he's boxing, and he's eating protein. He loves Boiled that shit. Chicken and white rice. Stick with him. Damn man. Understood. Man's man will see some unseasoned chicken and white rice. Oh, we're gonna cook this. Every time. Your mic just does the weird garbledy goo thing. It sounds yeah. like you've been stuck in a fucking like blender or something. <laughs> it's so uh, fucking funny. You don't dude. know. Maybe I am in a blender. Maybe. Maybe I am in a blender. Ken Amada. He seems very level headed for an elementary. This is grooming language here. We don't talk about that, bitch. As we team leader, I need to give Bruno. him prop. No, you don't. No, we are not doing the Ken romance route in Persona 3 Portable. That is a no. <laughs> I can't believe yeah. they actually added that. Why would they do that? Eh! I'm on the second floor. Um... Well... You know, it's times like this that I'm reminded. That one time in comics, Superman went to go beat up a godlike entity for giving a child superpowers. Oh. I speculate. Most likely because of his size. A spear makes up for any disadvantage he might have against a taller enemy. Uh -huh. That makes sense. I'm not surprised Amatakun would think of that. Hmm. His spears okay. are also the easiest weapon to learn. Yeah. Should we go to Tartarus? Fuck it. Let's go to Tartarus. Why not? All right, Ken. You want to see what what We're we do? We're going to Tartar Sauce. We're doing the Tartar Sauces. We're gonna All right, do Ken. This... You want to see what oh, we do? There Here he we is. Go. Excuse me. Will you please add me as a member in today's search party? Uh, okay. I want to participate in lots of battles and get used to handling my persona. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope I can prove myself useful to all of you. I like that his coat is like extra long. It's like it's like they gave him just a, a normal adult coat because they couldn't find a coat that fits him. <laughs> They're like, here, have this normal adult coat. We'll just put it on top of you. <laughs> it's kind of baggy, but you'll you'll be fine. You might trip over it, but it's fine. Oh yes. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, so exciting! Exciting. Oh, you got blendered again. Excellent. Okay. I have exciting. Yeah, you, you you're still like in the blender. Why am I in the blender? I don't know. I don't. Well, now you're it's not. Fun. What the hell? I don't know. Um, it is like that time I was talking to you while I was at Walmart, and every time I went into one specific spot, everything went to shit. Um, and then Kormaru. Um, But so I have some exciting uh, announcement. Mm -hmm. On Thursday, Sammy will be doing a 
extra long stream. Yes, I was there on. Like I was there on their stream when they announced that. But <laughs> yes, but but yeah. the schedule has changed, and now there will be a segment devoted to us playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh. So. Sometime after 2 p.m. on Thursday, I will be streaming Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Interesting. At the same time, Sammy is okay. playing Red Rescue Team. Where is... Where is the Monad door? Let's go fuck up the Monad door. Kid, but I'll catch up to all of you in no time. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Ken. I think is saying he feels the same way. I think... Let's get stronger together, Koromaru. Ken, I swear to God, if you don't fucking shut up, I'm gonna kick you out of the party permanently. You'll be struck down by the hand of Skingus. <laughs> Let's fucking go, dudes. Alright, where the well, fuck well. are we going? Fuck sending this person to the- Fuck sending this motherfucker to Detroit. Send this bastard to Malevolon Creek. Oh, there's a big spooky man's right there. Let's go fight him. Powerful enemy spotted. Let's yeah, yeah, we're ready. Let's All fucking right. go. It's just me and the boys. You can do it. All right, Koromaru. Guess what? <laughs> Sundays for the boys. Oh shit, he blocked that. Never mind. Shoot yourself in the forehead, kid. Do it, oh, kid. Shit, that actually did do some damage. Hell yeah. Oh, and electricity is his weakness. One step at a time. Remember, kids, Ken and Koromaru are the best character in Persona 4 Arena. It's true. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Murder this man, my dog. You know what's really fucking dark? Uh, 12 o'clock? The dark hour. Yeah. Okay, we know that... Let's fucking oh, go! There's, it's, been, it's been really funny watching uh, Warhammer Twitter the last few days. Yeah. Because uh, a bunch of people are showing their true colors as, like, massive racists and sexists. Uh, because they added female characters to a faction that was previously all men. And that's it. That's all. Happened. And now they're like, people are freaking out. Like, why is it looking for You're in the blender like, again. 
Oh, excellent. I don't know what it is. That's where that's where they belong. I have absolutely no idea how why you keep going into the blender. I'm sorry. It's fine. Now you're not in the blender. See, that's weird. Are you like doing something? I'm cutting a watermelon. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's all over. Wow. You were afraid of letting me hold the exact type of knife <laughs> that I use every well, day. Okay, I know you. I... Six or more hours a day. I know you though. <laughs> 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 okay, and and you're chaotic. There's very and I'm things. terrified that you're gonna try yeah, and would... fucking kill me. <laughs> okay, okay. I feel bad when I step on an ant. I mm, okay, sure. <laughs> Unless it's you know, like. He's climbing on me and I freak out by accident and it's... Oh well, shouldn't have climbed on me. But no, I, it's nice safety, I take that very seriously. Champion clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I appreciate it. Yeah! Champion clubs. Is that it? That's all? Oh no, there's another door. <laughs> oh, another dicey boy. Powerful enemy. <clears throat> yeah, we're ready. No worries. Alright, roll for damage. This should be a problem. Kate, roll for damage. Uh, hold on, let me get my twerking Among Us dice. <laughs> That's a five. That's a five damage. Nice. Oh, he summoned that, a dude. That would be one plus effect. What to do? Everything okay. Well, he's got a third key. So fuck it. Use his ergy. Ergy? Use his ergy. The ergy. Okay, that was kind of cool. Well, that was an instant kill for one. I'll take care of this. Okay. Eighteen ball. I don't have to look. You just have to have them ready. Keep missing. I don't like this dude. Marn Charm, go. Roll the fucking. Doesn't seem to be effective. 
Okay, let's try fucking... Roll for Let's try some... some fucking... <laughs> motherfucking fire. Okay, that did some damage. One step at a time. Okay, uh... Yeah. Dog. Dog. Doge. <laughs> Shows a five. Light Does that even need to be effective? Okay, so we need ice now. I don't know their weaknesses yet. Can you test something out? Oof, oh! We found it. There it is. There's the weakness. The boofaloo. Boofaloo. Alright. Buffalo! What a good dog. Oh, fuck! <laughs> They're beating the shit out of this kid! <laughs> Uh, Boofaloo. Welcome to the club! Welcome to the club. We're beating the shit out of you. Real fast. Oh, I didn't even know we had a Black Frost. Yeah, I, I, I um, whatchamacallit him in the last stream. I fusioned him. Wow, Spirioso. Yeah. Um. Continue. Okay, we are going to quickly auto recover and get the fuck. We got one chest here. Memoir 3. The true nature of the shadows has come to light in line with the excavated historical documents. Their origin will bring the world to its end. This has become readily apparent. The project should be stopped. But it may already be. Hmm. And then a pink bikini! Oh uh, no. I wonder who that's for. It's for me. I do. No, it's for me. <laughs> oh. Just like the maid outfit is also for me. Oh, look, two um, die. I can't hear you. Are you sure? Like, how do you get it out of the game? Yeah, but you're muffled. Oh. Yeah. Three enemies? Oh, I see. Okay. Alright. Um. Buffalo? Okay, that did a little damage. Alright. Electric. Nope, that blocked it. Alright. Light. Nope. Okay. Interesting. Let's try wind next. Oh fuck, here we go. Oh. oh my god, they're really beating the shit out of this kid. What the fuck? Welcome to the fair. Okay. Uh, we're gonna try some wind. I'm pretty sure I have wind. Do I not? I do. I do not. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do I have a wind? Free spray. any wind charms or anything, but we'll try that. Okay, that did 100 damage. That's not bad. Alright, um... Let's try that. Alright, Ken. Um... Go defense down. Uh oh, what the fuck does this even? What the fuck? This was a four. Okay. Uh, let's try some fire. Okay, that did some damage. All right. Okay, fire seems to be... Oh boy. Oh god! <laughs> Amada's almost dead! <laughs> Ken's really just fucking it up, dude. Yeah! Akihiko! Akihiko beat the shit out of these dice. Okay, we're gonna just ignore the, the Arcanas. Tonight, we're just finishing this. So it's fine. Uh, I think Korochan is telling to pray at the shrine. Um... Um... All right, cool. We've defeated all the enemies. Yay! <clears throat> nice. And we get to reap the rewards. Cool. Nice. Seems the devil major arcana can now be appear in the shuffle time. All right. And the book of iron, the ma number of magic. Okay, cool. We've increased our woof. Woof. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's leave. All right, we gotta go to fucking floor. What's it, what should we call it? Floor eighty-eight, I think. That's where. What? What's her name said? The cat was. So. Yeah. yeah. There's a, a little friend. So we gotta. Friendly. Don't 
Don't worry about that. Sometimes it might be difficult to hit a shadow's weakness. When that happens, you'll need a backup. There's chests that Even I forgot to no open. Weakness to it. Kimmy Misubi. Kimmy Misubi. I have five. No. <laughs> no. I only have five. We're just gonna ignore those. I need to get more Twilight Fragments. Hey guys. Give me your Twilight oh, Fragments. Right now. Don't make that so quick. You what's it, she? Don't make that really gets my blood uh, I, I can't hear you. You're very muffled. Um. I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Brace yourselves. Oh. Pretty good hit. Doesn't look like you have the right skills. <laughs> <coughs> Holy shit. We destroyed that thing. Get a load of those numbers. Whoa. How should I kill One step at a time. Go, Oh my god. We are like way too over leveled for this. Okay. This was like two hits and we're done. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Just like we planned. Nice! That went well! Uh chest. Black quartz. We've already did that monarch. Did we, we do- Oh, you know what? We didn't do this one, so we are gonna do this one. That looks like the fucking reaper, but it's not. Oh, we did do this one! Fuck it, we'll do it again. <laughs> I don't know! One target! This will be no problem at all! Block that, okay. What to do? Not that. Darkness has no effect on this enemy. I'll go with the enemy. Here we go. Let's get the devil. Ooh, okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Beep, beep, beep. We're on 84, okay. Um, yeah, no, that's the wrong way. This way. This way. <sighs> okay, time to move on. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. You feel like Here the we last go. Fight was tough. That's a sign you need to slow down and build your strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I assure you we're fine. Now what do we run into next? Shadow up ahead. Taking oh, hello. Well, hello. Hello. You can hear me again? 
I can hear you slightly, yes. Hmm. Wonder if I just can't have video on. Uh I see. Rough, rough. Yeah. Probably just can't watch the video while I'm talking. Yeah, probably not. Shadow up ahead. Don't worry about that. We're not dealing with that. Oh fuck, is this the the one oh, oh no. Oh this, no. This is the the fucking floor that I get confused on and I can't fucking find the exit and then the reaper spawns and then I have to run away from the fucking reaper and it's not fun mm. can't help you there Steve no you can't Where is the fucking stairs? I'm so confused on where the stairs are. There's no stairs here. What the hell? Huh. Alright. Okay. Where the hell is the stairs? They've gotta be somewhere. But like where? Oh my god, does this floor just not have stairs? What am I- Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> The fucking oh. Reaper is gonna show up. I believe in you. Hi, Crow! Welcome to the stream! I definitely oh. lowered all of the, <laughs> the sound bits so that I wouldn't get jump scared every single fucking time! Really cool out there, Where the goddamn are these motherfucking stairs? I'm gonna be so mad if I'm just uh, running around looking uh, for no stairs. Where the fuck are these stairs? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go to the teleporter. We're gonna teleport all the way down. Um. Head back. Yeah. I'm gonna run over to Elizabeth and make sure that it's on. Good day. Here are my requests. Okay. Yep. Um, talk about missing persons. However, it appears a little guest was feline curious enough to wander inside. They should be around floor 88. Perhaps you should go find them. Uh, Here oops. Are my requests. That's not what I wanted. Alright, never mind. Okay. I think I'm gonna switch out Koromaru because we'll replace... We'll replace with Yukari. Because hmm. Koromaru is very low on SP, so. Um. <sighs> oh, boy. What's got going on? Oh. What's going on? Can I go a lower floor? Can I go back a floor? 
Like, I'd like to go down a floor. Uh, no. Oh, 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 okay, hold on. Hold on. If I do this, and then I do map, go to the next floor, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go to the next floor. And then go to the next floor. I think we're starting to get somewhere. Go to the next floor. Now what do we run into next? Okay, this is the one that oh, this one we can't. There just isn't fucking stairs on this floor. No. Not right now. What the hell? No. What the shit? I don't get it. Oh, here it is. Arrows are a single use. Three targets. They're weak. Don't, go away. But don't be careless. Well, that was easy. No shadows detected. Think, you know what? We're just gonna return to the entrance again. <sighs> How do we get to. Oh, fuck me. Not right now. We gotta find this fucking stairs. I don't get it. Where are the goddamn stairs on this fucking. There's gotta be stairs somewhere can't be the only one. Oh my god. They were literally around the corner. What the fuck? What? I'm a dumbass. Be careful of the unusual enemies. Okay. What in the heck? The atmosphere here is so different compared to the beginning. <laughs> There's a chest. What? Bro, get jump boo, get jump scared more. No. I refuse. XP. Hooray. Um. Yeah, Akihiko, go ahead. Go run about. What's 
Listen, I'm just here to find a shadow. Got him. Three targets. All right. But don't be Hold careless. Trigger. Okay, that that didn't work. All right. Hell yeah. Money. Very cool. All right. Okay. We'll do. <coughs> nice, thank you. There's the kitty. We need to find the kitty. Okay. I'm gonna go find the kitty. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Yeah, yeah, we don't care about the treasure chest, we care about the kitty. I mean, there is the treasure chest. We should probably get the treasure chest. I forgot my gym uniform the other day, so I borrowed Fuka's. She's a lifesaver. Girl, to be of help. that's What's the size okay. There's a shadow. That's a little TMI. What to do? For so <laughs> This is very easy. We're on very lower levels of Tartarus. We're very high leveled. It's just gonna be easy. Easy peasy. Sure, we'll get the bird again. Okay. Ken, you don't need to fucking shout it. Use your inside voice. I bet we'll find something good in there. Let's open it up. I like how when you open a, a chest, all the shadows in the immediate area just disappear. They're like, oh! <laughs> They get like flash banged by the fucking uh, chest, and they're like, "Oh!" Shadow up ahead. Yeah, they're still taking it out. It's an enemy. Do we attack? Okay, I need to find the cat. Where is the cat? Where would the cat be? I guess we didn't check this way. Do not see where the kitty would be. Okay, so this is where we were. We went that way. Did we go this way? I, we obviously went this way. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's do this. They're weak, but don't be careless. Yes, you hurry to knock one down. Enemy defeated. Experience. Hell yeah. Done and dusted. Did. Level forty. Bro, he's always shouting. You can tell that I I don't like kids. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I think you have an item that can target the enemy's weakness. What? So that okay. Senpai knocked down two with that attack. Delivery! Just for you! Let's 
keep this momentum up. Good work out there. All right. Went off without a hitch. Let's get going. Wait a minute. There's a there's a twilight thing. Yeah, two more twilight fragments. Okay, now where's the fuck is this cat? I'm looking for this fucking cat, and I can't find it anywhere. Cat, where are you? Where would you be? I can't find a kitty. Assumed a kitty would be here, around here somewhere. But I. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this way. Maybe the kitty is this way. Yay! I found the kitty! Hey, what's over there? Kitty! What? There's a kitty. Anyway, we need to protect it. Cat offered me something. Maybe it's a thank you gift. It's a bit damp, but I could still use it. Twilight fragments. Welcome back. Yay. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we made it to the top, but I'm gonna see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made it to the top. Okay. Gone past the checkpoint. What's next? Oh, did we not? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, well. Um. Yeah, let's head back. Alright, we're done for the night. There's no more kitty. Oh, hold on. Good day. Uh, about requests? Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. Yay! Deed chain. I will await a report of success. Okay, so we need to get a hoagie Ojiro. I don't know how to do that again. Very well then. I forget how to do that. Oh, help. Let's call it quits. But I know there's a There's sales over at the the pharmacy. Oh. We gotta beep beeps. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Are you fucking kidding me? We just got out of Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Oh my god. All right, I guess we're going to Tartarus again tonight. Uh oh, cutscene. Uh, it's almost the start of his second semester already. Aww. He wasted his summer. And pretty soon, I'm gonna be a third year. And time goes by way too fast. Yeah. Oh, it's her. Oh shit! Your goth GF is back in her regular drawing spot. And she's drawing again, huh? You again? Oh, well, uh, actually, I'm surprised you remember me. I could say the same about you. Fair enough. I mean, your outfit is pretty memorable. Yeah. So, uh, what are you working on? Yeah, what are you drawing? She's drawing, like, furry porn. <laughs> I'm drawing. I love that, I love her reply. I'm drawing, what do you fucking expect? 
What does it look like? I'm changing a fucking tire? Uh, no real reason, I guess. I just thought it's pretty awesome to have something you're passionate about. It's nothing like that. I'm just drawing because I feel like it. Yeah. Usually when you draw because you feel like it, it's because it's it's something that you enjoy doing. Oh. Huh. Well, I still want to see you when you're done. If you don't mind. She's like, huh. Interesting. A man enjoying what I like to do? That's never happened to me before. Chidori fucking discovers men. Oh boy. Yeah. We're going to Tartarus tonight. Do you want to go? <sighs> uh, nobody wants to go. Do you? Nobody wants to go. I'm out of here. Yay! You're free. All right. Well, let's see. Hold on. Let's see. I can hang out with. You know what? Ooh, right. There's there's a sale. I forgot how to. We. Oh fuck. Here we go. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm out of here. Okay. Okay. We gotta figure out how to get this fucking tea. Oh. oh fuck, how do I get that? Bro, let the fucking go. Yeah, okay, I gotta go next door. And I gotta... How many fucking things oh, do yes. I need? Okay, I have exciting news. What is, what? You're going into the car. We have some new items prepared. Come take a look. Oh, Actually, I think so I will pack up the I need... and come back when I am home. Okay. What would Hold you on. like? What did I need for that? The required materials. What did I'm I? Sure this will prove to be useful. Was it topaz that I needed? Go on, look around. <gasps> I have enough. I have enough. Have you decided? We have a deal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Everything good? Yeah. Everything's fucking great. Bye. How'd you hit? I made an exchange mm. for it. Well, as long as you didn't break any logs, I'm not gonna pry. Uh, I won't go back on my word. This is yours. What? <laughs> um. Thanks. You'll like the new stuff we got in stock. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Which ones? Let's get five of those. Already. Why not? Thanks. We could always use th some of that. All right, let's fucking go, Elizabeth. Good day. Um. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. So this Ojiro. It's an awfully dreadful shade of green, isn't it? Well, I'll just take a sip first. I see. The mellow sweetness that washes over your tongue, the citrusy aroma permeates your nasal cavity. Marvelous. It is, frankly speaking, quite delectable, though it's rather disappointing there's not much of it to last. Uh, please take this as your reward. Yeah! 
Eight fucking twilight fragments. Do you want to go out? Uh, I'm taking our next destination into great consideration. Please wait while I've made up my mind. Okay. Mm, never mind. Bye. Very well. What are my, oh wait, Good hold on. You know what? About requests. What Here kind of requests do we have? Requests. We have proof of a bond, so I have to up a social link more. Attempt a hundred shrine visits. Oh fuck, I gotta go to the shrine then. Aha. Eat a chilled Tayaki. There may come a day when you complete the Persona Compendium. Maybe. Um... Okay. Very right, well. let's go. What can we fucking do? You can hang out. Or I can... Up. Hopefully I'm up in my academics some more. Okay. Alright. Welcome back. Okay. Guess what? It's time to go to Tartarus. Alright, we're going back to Tartarus. I think what we'll do... Is we'll find this one missing person. Where's the missing Good person? Day. I can sense a presence. Between 106 and 111. Um, okay. Nope. Very well. Maybe I should fuse some personas first, actually. Let's fuse some, like, good ass personas, maybe. I need one with, like, Welcome a wind. To the room. And I need one with, like, uh, fusion. Are you in search? Which will you choose? It is a special persona you desire, is it not? will almost certainly be worth your time and effort. Well then, shall we take a look? Personas come to be is a great joy of mine. This would be a wise choice. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a good amount. <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? I'm just doing it based off of leveling, really. <laughs> there it is! I like this dude. He looks cool. His name is Semyel. To you, challenger of fate, I shall be the poison you inflict. Nice! He's a sneaky boy. He's our friend. Alright! He leveled up! Hooray! Um, that's to one foe. There we go. Um, 
I can't do any of these. Take all the time you need to consider. This persona, yes? Please choose what skills to inherit. Yes. No confusion. It appears it will receive a good amount of extra. Well, then, shall we begin? I, I never, kn like, know. Like, I know there's, like, strategies on how to do, like, the whole... Whatchamacallit? Like, fusions. I never actually fucking <laughs> follow any strategy. I'm just like, oh, that looks cool! That's pretty high up! Ooh, it has a thingy! Whoa! Nice! Okay. Um... Yeah, I think that's good. We'll- we'll, we'll stick to that. Yeah, we're- we're- we're finished. Okay, bye bye. Alright. Um, I think, yeah, we'll just stick. Yeah, we'll stick to this. Um, and then what did she say? It was between a hundred and eight. 111. So we'll go here. Uh -huh. There's a person nearby. On 109. Ready to go. Let's get okay. Next floor. Let's keep going. Oh. I see. You gotta use your head in a fight. Always think one step ahead of your opponent. Did you get that, Junpei? Junpei's not What's here. Oh, stairs! Listen, we're only here what? to. We're only here to. Oh, hello, you're back. I'm just. I have returned. <laughs> How exciting. Uh, whether or not you want me here, here I am. I always want you in my stream, so you're always my friend. Always your friend. Except that except when I uh say some cursed shit then. Um no, you're my friend even when you say cursed shit. I just I'm I, I'm like the older we that's when I stairs. go into older sister mode and just I'm disappointed in you you know <laughs> yeah I guess so yeah um. 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 where's the fucking person that we gotta save my guy yeah, we got fucking beans nah we got a dude we have to save Does he have beans? Maybe. Ooh. Chewing soul. Nice. That could be beans. We love chewing on souls. Oh. Okay. So. Oh, it was 109, wasn't it? opening this door? 
No, we're not opening that door. We've already been there. We've been there, done that. We're just trying to find the fucking stairs! Is this the, is this gonna be another fucking... This, beans. this is gonna be another one where I, I, like, spend, like, the next, like, 20 minutes looking for a fucking staircase. And it just so happens to be in, like, the most, like, normal spot. You know what's crazy? What is crazy? After doing like the most insane visual design for it, and then still choosing the shit ass Persona art style. I mean, my only issue with it is in like still imagery. Like in 3D models, they look fine, obviously. No. But like in like. Just normal 2D and like 2D imagery. It's like the eyes are just way too far apart. That's my only yeah. issue with it. Like everything else is fine. It's just the eyes are just slightly too far apart. Mm -hmm. Will this work? Well, that was easy. Well. I like how that dragon continues to do a wiggle after the attack. Yeah, man. He just loves to dance. He's a little sneaky boy. Whoa! Life of the sky dragon. I want that one! Yeah. What the fuck? That's a lady. Whoa. Okay. Let's try and find the fucking stairs. Okay, that's... Okay, we've been that way. We have not been this way. And we have... Ooh, here we go. Here's where the... No, that's where the door is. So the stairs would have to be maybe this way. Or the human will have to be this way. There's a shadow. Alright, let's check out this new one that I got. Now's our chance. When you find that guy, you have to tell him that this is not the place to go out for a rip. Which guy? The guy you're looking for. Oh. Uh, I don't think we talk to them. We just bring them to the fucking, uh... Whatchamacallit. We just bring them to the entrance and then, like, take them out of Tartarus. Hell yeah. Good job. Personers. Nice. That was easy. Good job, everyone. Shuffle time! Uh, experience. We did it! I like how... Was it 109 that... Found the stairs. Wanna climb up? Where the fuck was the person? Were they not on this floor? Or was it 109? I don't know, we're gonna go up here. Oh yeah. It, okay, it was 109. <laughs> I'm getting it's okay. the of the person. I have some exciting news for you. What's the exciting oh, news? The so, rumors circulating from the same person who leaked the build game. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That Persona 1 and 2 are getting out, are, are getting Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I follow them on. It's, uh, her name is. I forget her name, but, um,. She's, like, very well known as, like, an Atlas Insider leaker, and, yeah, so I, yeah, I already knew. <laughs> oh, God. 
So if one and two do get a remake, I'm gonna be so super excited. Because I, I hope it will get it again. I'm gonna be exciting. It's gonna be very exciting. Especially if they're getting like this kind of um oh, this work. Just watch. Whatchamacallit, like remake, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be really cool. I'll go with You know it would be a genuinely funny trophy for a Persona one or two remake. What? If you run into a wall enough times, you get like a bronze trophy. It's just, just like old time. <laughs> that would be funny, actually. It'd be really funny. <laughs> my fa—that's one of my favorite fucking memes—is the the um, the guy that's like wandering around an abandoned mall and he's playing fucking school days in the background. Pretty well. It's like one of my favorite fucking memes. I have to find that video again. We don't care about the shadow. We care about the human. There he is. Oh, someone's over there. Whoa. Take him back to the entrance. Let's go. Even better if the just like old times trophy. Thumbs up the description text to get the full Persona 1 experience. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we don't need to be in here no more. Oh, hello. Cutscene. Guess what? Child. I thought I'd remind you. There's only a week left until the next full moon. Thank you. I, yes. Paris, why do you look you like ready? you have a face I could just take off? What? It looks like you could take his face off like a sticker. <laughs> he looks like Adachi if Adachi was a child. He looks like Adachi if Adachi was a person. Was a real person. Yeah. So make sure to be Which is crazy because Pharaoh is not a real person. Yeah. I'll see you again sometime. Oh man. Oh, my mom made this awesome like garlic chicken and veg and like steamed vegetables pasta dish. Oh my god, oh that my was god, so good. We have so many things to do. Oh my god. Okay, first we check the TV. We got to see what Tanaka who still owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> Tanaka is the new hat man. He's the new hat man. Um, yeah, 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 what are you I'm selling? Do it. Uh, Remember, kids, if you kill Tanaka, the universe falls apart. Um, you know what? I, I think I won't buy. Yeah, I, I don't think I will buy anything. Um, now we'll see. I mean, I could stay online all day. Yeah, Maya wants to... To hang out with us. Um, but I gotta. I'm gonna see if anybody actually wants to go to the. Nobody wants to go to the fucking movie festival! Usually they stand right here. I'm going upstairs and I'm playing games online all day. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna go hang out with my teacher online. SPOILER! <laughs> but... I have a... I have a complaint. What are you, what's your complaint? That laptop... Yeah? ...is like... ...way too modern. No, it's not. That's exactly what laptops look like... ...in fucking 2009. <laughs> It even has the little, the little red button that was your mouse. Uh, I chatted with Maya all. Yay! I don't know, Chief. Okay. I don't think 2009 is real. I was there. Oh! <gasps> I just wants to oh, plant hello. flowers. Uh, don't mean to but I put my power to good use. Yeah, don't worry, you're gonna fight the boss with us. Okay, actually one of my favorite tropes. 
what is one of your favorite tropes? A robot that likes to, to that likes plants. Yeah. Um. Well, guess what? I guess loves fucking plants. She loves him. Have you seen that cursed oh, edit of oh, I right, guess we... where they just take the bow off? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got we got fucking go harvest our fucking plants. I forgot about that shit. And then we can plant more, and then we can go hang out with with. Yeah, we gotta harvest these. Oh, I have one other. Soul spinach. So Tanaka, Tanaka, we've established is the universal through line of all the Persona games. Yeah. Is, so is he always just a shady like merchant type character? Yes. Excellent. Okay, now we can go downstairs and hang out with. I guess, and help tend to the plants. Do you think that he'll, that he'll, like, invest in, do you think that he'll be, like, all about cryptocurrency and NFTs? Yes. In Persona 6? Um, um, I mean, I'm surprised that he wasn't in Persona 5, because that's when cryptocurrency kind of was a big thing. So. Well, I mean, Persona 5 was in development for so long, but probably just, like, wasn't something they were thinking about. Yeah. yeah let's go. I think yes. crypto really like hit its biggest sweat like it's well in like the twenty twenties. Hip hip hooray, as they say. Like that's when it became the most mainstream, right? <laughs> she said she really said hip hip hooray. <laughs> the ladybug has grown into a fire dog as well. We love cryptocurrency. We don't actually. We do not. <laughs> we do not. Please don't ever invest in cryptocurrency. You're actually an idiot if you do. The only, like, cryptocurrency I could I genuinely see machine. someone investing in is, like, Ethereum or Bitcoin. Even then, like, yeah. even then, I wouldn't do that because I've, I've known people who claim, oh... I, I invested in Bitcoin and then like literally like in within the, like the next year they're like broke and homeless and because they fucked it up you know. Here's the thing: if you're investing in Bitcoin or Ethereum, just like with anything else, do, do anything. not invest money you saying. cannot live without. Yeah, like do like if you, okay if you're going to try and and gamble on like. The cryptocurrency market i would say set aside a small chunk like a little savings account or whatever yeah where set you, aside like a little a little where if you get any it. extra yeah if you get any extra cash you can put it in there and then convert it to cryptocurrency whatever and then have your main source of income still be normal money that you actually use um because, like, there is absolutely no way you are going to put all of your life savings, all of your current money into cryptocurrency and not end up on your ass on the streets, you know? Like, yeah, it's, like, just, it's just not going to happen. Like, I, I, I remember talking with people and they were like, if you could go back to the year 2000, what would you do? Or like, and you could convince your parents to do one thing. What would you do? And like a lot of people, like oh, and Amazon and all that, right? And the pests. And I actually looked at the math, right? And you as well. And I, I think what I would have done if I could convince my mom to do one thing in the year 2000. Yeah. It would be put a hundred dollars into Bitcoin the moment it comes out. I will do my best to make my way in the world. Yeah, because then you would be else. basically a millionaire by now. Um. So, like, what's it called? I think it was like three hundred in like two thousand and six or something. The first ever Bitcoin transaction was done, and a dude paid like two hundred and fifty bitcoins for a pizza. And it's like if you sold Bitcoin when it hit the 100k mark at uh, in, in like in 2019 or whatever, like dude, stunk. Whoa! 
Nice. Naturally, I will still continue to look after them at full throttle. Good job, I guess. Let's get started right away. Yay! You know what my favorite recent, Let's like, uh, Silly Stock thing is, though? Yeah. I think, uh, do you remember the GameStop situation? Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. Everybody just immediately started putting all of their fucking money into... Well, did I ever tell you, like, I, I actually caught wind of it, like, oh, a day oh, or two on, before scene. it happened. Cut scene, cut scene. Here, huh? We got Junpei and Chidori. Wow. You're the one who keeps coming back. That's true. Because she's technically homeless. And stinky. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You from around here? Just give him your name. Oh, not even listening, huh? Here's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's like, no, fuck you. Whoa, your hand! What the hell happened? You're bleeding. What's wrong with you? Can't you mind your own business, dude? Ah, you a baddie. <laughs> Are you kidding? I can't just ignore that. Yeah, that's true. He he's uh, gotta have some... <laughs> Me and the baddie I pulled by being goofy. <laughs> me and the baddie I pulled by being autistic. <laughs> Give me your hand. I can wrap Me and the baddie I pulled with baseball. <laughs> he doesn't play baseball anymore. Only when uh, he was a kid. But don't worry. Uh, he'll play it again. He'll he'll eventually get into pro baseball. <laughs> Why are you I still think my favorite localization has to do with uh, in Danganronpa, where they like just one to one converted his pitching speed to kilometers to miles an hour. Yeah. And it's like, oh yeah, he can pitch a hundred and twenty miles an hour. Yeah. And like those, that is uh, a very different measurement from one hundred and twenty kilometers. An hour. Right now, yeah. Who wouldn't? You gotta get to a doctor. Uh, do you want me to go with you? I don't think you, she needs to go to a doctor just for a little cut on her hand. But okay. You're a weird one. Yeah, that's how that's how my last relationship started too. I called him weird, and six years later, <laughs> we were. Screaming. You were right. We, I was right. <laughs> Chidori. Oh, she said her name. Huh? My name. You asked, didn't you, Junpei? Oh, she just straight up just calls them by their first name. Interesting. I'm almost finished with the drawing. I doubt you'll be able to understand it. But if you want to see it so badly, then you know where to find me. Interesting. Comparing this to, like, the old games... Have you ever considered not being homeless? <laughs> I mean, she probably has considered that. But it's kind of hard to when you have no money. Nah, according to Republicans, it's just as simple as just not being homeless. Ah, uh, well, Republicans are kind of idiots. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, there was this great thing that was going on in the city where... Like, homeless people got so tired of, like, waiting for her to, like, get jobs, like, have homeless shelters open and stuff, that they just start spending their money on just bumper and building their own houses under bridges and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? Base. Nobody is in like, the I thought that was week. really fun. Like, like, I think it, like, I don't think it was funny. I think it was a really cool thing to see happen. Because, like, people would get together and help each other build houses and stuff. That was neat. Yeah. And then I thought what was really funny is that people were getting angry about it. I'm like, what? What, what, what? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna fucking take that shit too? 
They got tired of being homeless. They fixed their problem. Isn't that what you wanted? Oh, I'm level six and I'm a badass. I can talk to Fuka. <laughs> I'm a badass. Hell yeah. You have become the ghoul. We maxed, we maxed my courage. We maxed Kurig. All right. Hey, you're the ghoul now. I am. I am a badass. Okay, on the fall, on the topic of the Fallout show, though, there is the one, the one gripe we have. Yeah. yeah. There's like one gripe. All right, we gotta watch movies. Like in, in the tomorrow. grand scheme of things, it's so small. But, like, I really hate that retcon. Yeah. We won't say it because we don't want to spoil it. If you haven't it, it, watched... It, if you really... haven't watched the Fallout series on Amazon, please do. It's actually very good. We just have that one little tiny gripe. That's it. In the grand scope of the and universe, if you've it's played... a retcon that Here's would the thing. only honor someone like me or Kate. Well, no, but it's also... it's. Well, it's anybody who who has played the games and and like knows a lot of if, if you like lore really about lore. Yeah, yeah yeah like you know a lot of lore, right? Because like on TikTok, nobody's actually talking about that one little gripe, and I'm like half tempted to like say something about it, but I want to at least finish the season first before I kind of like point it out and like put it out there into the open, like. Hey, did you guys know that this doesn't actually exist in universe? So like, yeah, why like, is it here? Kind of thing. But like, it's like yeah, because like, maybe, the maybe we. But like, here's the thing: is like we don't know why it exists yet, and there might be an explanation further into the season. We just don't know yet, right? Like this does take place technically long after all of the games um it takes place in 2298 as opposed to fallout 4 taking place in i think 2289 i think so i don't know yeah <laughs> so well no if 2077 is when the bombs dropped and this show takes two hundred takes like two hundred nineteen years, I think, mm -hmm. after um, dropped. Then we'd be looking at twenty nine or twenty two ninety six. That's what I just said. Oh, okay. Well, I said ninety eight, but that's but because that's what Google tells us. But whatever. <laughs> Maybe they did the math wrong, but whatever. Yeah, or maybe it's what I, it's not when it takes place isn't necessarily important because it takes place after the events of Fallout Four. It does. It does take place after the events of Fallout Four, and Fallout Four takes place after the events of New Vegas, and New Vegas takes place after the events of Three, and blah blah blah. blah. So there are canonical years in which the Fallout games take place. Just like there are canonical years in which the Persona games take place. So. The more you know. Fancy. <laughs> Alright, Koromaru, what the fuck? Compared to before, the look in Koromaru's eyes seemed to have changed. It's as if he's gained a sense of pride from the Wolves' leader. Nice! He did it! Whoa, that's a big voice for a little guy. You look determined. Wow. He's keeping sharp. We gained some academics. Nice. Okay, we did it. All right, school is starting tomorrow. So we're back to school. Back to school. All right, let's start Fuka's social link, I guess, today.
if she's available. Second semester begins today. Oh yeah! Changing seasons, baby! <laughs> this is nice. the best fucking song. One of the best songs. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, here, I'm, look I'm looking at the Feral Ghoul page on the Fallout wiki. Good morning. <sighs> Summer vacation is over. What a bummer. Why does life suck? In that case. <laughs> Sounds like someone has apathy syndrome. Well, wouldn't life be easier if you actually did? What? No, do I really? On second thought, you're right, it doesn't sound too bad. At least I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Okay, here's an interesting thing. Another day goes by. The time flies. Here's some. Here's a bit of interesting thought. Yeah. Um, the degeneration into a feral state is not fully understood. Are you trying? Okay. So, what triggers it is not necessarily known. It's not what? So, what triggers a ghoul to begin to go feral isn't quite understood. Yeah. But, like, I mean, I've always had to give a guess as, like, the less human you act. Like, the more you isolate yourself, go long periods of time without eating or drinking or sleeping. Like, I've always just kind of assumed that kind of triggered it, and that seems to be You keep so cutting out, so I can't really hear oh. what you're saying. Damn. Yeah. Anyways, just listen to Changing Seasons. It's the best song. Okay. Uh, we'll never get through the full textbook if you stay in vacation mode forever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's review. Uh-oh. Which property of electricity is relevant to superconductivity? Voltage, right? Let's, let's check the network. B, resistance. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right, been studying. Anything that reaches an electrical resistance of zero at a characteristic temperature uh, is considered superconductive. As a result, electric currents can travel eternally through a superconductive circuit held at the proper temperature. Many years ago, I used this fact to confess my love to someone. My love for you is superconductive, I told them. Sure enough, my enthusiasm won her over and we started dating. But enthusiasm isn't very scientific. Before too long, I'd lost interest. Why are you telling your entire class that? That's embarrassing! <laughs> Alright, in the next section... What the fuck? Just imagine fucking telling people... Like, telling your entire class, you're like, Yeah, I dated a girl, hit on her once, and then, yeah, um... Now I lost interest in her and I dumped her ass. Like, what? Why would you say that? Alright. Fuka, are you here? She is not here. I guess we'll hang out with you then. Hello there. Thank you so much. Okay, then how about we have a chat at the cafe today? Okay. <sighs> is it just me or is the air conditioning in here too high? I feel a little lightheaded. I haven't been feeling well lately. I couldn't even finish my lunch today. I think that's because you're just weird. I think I may have caught a cold. Well then why are you out here? You're gonna give it to me! I'm sorry, but do you think we could go to the pharmacy? What the fuck? Why'd you invite me out? I'm going to go get some medicine. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out here, I guess. Oh, hey there. Are you on your way home from school? Huh? Well, what do you want? Uh-oh. Wow, That's a man. Really cute. From this angle, I can see how gorgeous you are in those glasses. I think you need to shut the fuck up, dude. 
Say, you want to maybe sit down at a cafe and chat a little? No. Um, I... Hey, come on, don't be scared. I'm not gonna fight. Mm. No, please stop. Uh, senpai. Howdy. I'm just gonna be like, hey. What do you want? What are you glaring like that for anyways? Wait, you're not with her. Oh, are you? Ah, she's friggin' taken. You're usually so quiet, but I guess you can be tough when you need to be. Watch, I can beat the shit out of that man. Uh, I did it with Akihiko the other I, night. Um, <clears throat> you've already saved me, so I'm not scared anymore, but why am I still shaking? Uh, that's usually, like, an aftermath thing. Sometimes when I, like, reject someone- or, like, I, like, refuse service to someone, and I'm, like, really nervous about it because they're kind of, like, aggressive, I get, like, shaky afterwards, but I'm fine. Um, I'm here for you. That does make me feel a lot better. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I think I'm fine now. That's good. Yay! Rank four. Nice. Huh? Well, why do I suddenly feel short of breath? Senpai, I, I think I really did catch a cold. I feel like my face is all flush. Okay. Um, thank you again for saving me today. Now, please excuse me. Bye! Alright. We'll play... Oh. Oh, there he is. Howdy. Whew. That does it for our first day back. We did it! Well, you two have perfect timing. Perfect timing? For what? Hey, Fuka! Is Igus ready? Uh-oh. Um, what do you think? This is how I look now. She's got a uniform. Did you know that the official Atlas, uh, shop, like, merchandise site is selling the Gekugan hot, uh, like, uniforms? Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm half tempted. I'm tempted. <laughs> it would be- make- and I guess cosplay so easy. <laughs> she said she wanted to go to school with us, so I told the others as a joke. But the chairman actually agreed, so now she's gonna start as a second year tomorrow. Seriously? He's down with that? Yeah, why not? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Sounds like him, all right. Well, if he's cool with it, then I guess it's all right. Besides, I'd say it looks pretty good on her. Maybe even you? The school camouflage that Fuka-san provided is more than appropriate. The school camouflage? <laughs> the school camouflage? What the fuck, dude? It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing, but... Why do you want to go to school? It's not like it's interesting. As the second semester commences, I intend to synchronize my schedule with everyone for maximum efficiency. Okay. If I remain here on standby, it could affect our deployment efficiency. To accommodate, I requested reassignment alongside our squad leader. Deployment efficiency, huh? Why do I feel like you being at school would make that even worse? <laughs> I will make any necessary adaptations as the situation evolves. Uh, sure, you do that. He says, I want to go to school too. No! Koromaru, no, you definitely have to stay here, okay? Yeah, dogs can't go to school. If they could, I would have brought, uh pebbles all the time to school and luna oh man all right 
It is Tuesday. Oh, Tanaka is available. Okay. Guess what? We're gonna see if we can get my money back. Ooh, wrong one. Hey, I have some interesting news. What's your interesting news? Um... <clears throat> technically, not all ghouls are sterile. Interesting. Yeah. In so... Fallout 3, it's mentioned that two ghouls had a non-ghoul child. I think that's more interesting news for Daryl. <laughs> I know. Is Crow still in the chat? I don't think so. <laughs> if he is... Hang on, I'm gonna... Uh, you're gonna add him? Uh, we ran into a big of a snag of again. Some of the other investors decided to drop out. But since there are a few investors, everyone will make even more of a profit. So would you mind investing some more? Just... Oh, fuck. Ooh. Really? Sure. How many fucking yen do you need, my foolish little apprentice? Have you not realized that you're being deceived? Everything I've said has clearly been suspicious. Ignorance should be a crime. Sure, you have some redeeming qualities, but if you remain this naive, everyone will take advantage of you. Stick with me and I'll show you how to be a winner. Okay. Oh, here comes Pro. Uh-oh. I've summoned him. You've summoned him? All right. You insist, I'll give you my autograph. It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. Thanks, Tanaka. You look familiar. Oh my. It's so very difficult being famous. I can hardly go anywhere without being recognized. I don't think you are that famous, dude. You just swindle money out of people. I'm sure you've seen the home shopping program, Tanaka's amazing commodity. Yes? Allow me to introduce myself. Wow, Tanaka, President and CEO. That's right. I'm Tanaka himself. Surely you've heard the name. I'm afraid I can't offer any returns on your 40,000 yen, but I've autographed my business card for you. Hold on to that. It'll be worth a pretty penny in a year or so. Ah, oh, and with that, <laughs> I must be going. Alright, you swindled me out of fucking... 40,000 yen. Does that go anywhere? What? Does this, like, thread, plot thread go anywhere? Doesn't he realize he's in the presence of a star? I don't know, man. That... <sighs> Bro. Time is money, especially mine. Should have squeezed a few more payments out of them. Dude, I can hear you. Bro, I can hear you. You are a badass. <clears throat> what do you want? Quit disturbing me. Get out of here. Shoo. Hello, Crow. Okay, what's what's the uh what's the news? Oh, okay. This is important news for Daryl. Yeah. According to Fallout 3, some ghouls can still have children. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Daryl's like, I don't Daryl's yeah. immediately like, Ava, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just picture, I'm just picturing after all the bullshit is settled, the Dar Daryl and Ava lock the go and go into like one of their bunks, and they don't come out for like a whole week. <laughs> I'm practically a celebrity. I have an God. image to maintain. I, 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 I sort of regret uncovering this information. Or, 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 <laughs> or like it's that one meme, <laughs> or it's like that one meme I've seen Kate don't say. Kate yeah. mention a lot where where where, 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 where it's like you put these two in a room together, someone's walking out pregnant, and it's not gonna be Ava. <laughs> Good lord. It's gonna be Daryl instead. Oh fuck. Nobody's oh, gonna man. understand that on my stream. 
Yeah, yeah. No, no one's nobody gonna knows about that, our except, fucking except Fallout you. tabletop group. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, no one's gonna fucking understand that shit. Please, I'll put your shoes. Still back. very funny though. <laughs> Whoa, Tanaka. I don't care. I like men. <laughs> All right, do it. Did you really? Did you promise? You better be ready to cross your heart and hope to die if you're lying to me. A verbal agreement is a form of contract, and if you breach it, I'll sue your pants off. I've got your adorable little face etched into my memory. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Where is it? Oh no. Ooh. I am thou. I got the thou devil card. Alrighty. I think that's actually good enough. We we got a new arcana. We did a we did a thing. No, where did it go? Where did it go? You're a diamond in the rough, my boy. All you need is a little polishing. You'll sparkle. I often take my breaks here. I'd be happy to mold your young mind whenever you wish. Alrighty. Let's head back to the dorm. Oh, we're probably gonna get cutscene. Watch. There she is! Okay. And we also got the best song. This must be Tartarus during the daytime. It's school right now. Yes. <laughs> that was good. Right. Class, we have another new transfer student joining us today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. Igis, son? I've never heard a name like that. Maybe she's a foreigner. I don't know, the bright blue eyes and blonde hair would also kind of make sense that she's a foreigner. Bleak. Let's see, anything else I should know? Hmm? Humanoid tactical weapon. <laughs> They're just not hiding it. They're like, yeah, she's a fucking robot. Here you go. <laughs> That's a mistake. It oh, just thank God. Show you can't believe everything you read. Yeah, you got that right. Your face, like, oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Let's see. You can sit. Um, Who filled out her transfer paperwork? Seat? Because like that I'm person gonna, was like asleep gonna, at the wheel. I'm gonna assume it, assume it was the chairman, and he was just he was just too stupid. He was just too like lazy to like come up with a better. He's like, yeah, she's a humanoid mass weapon. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, they, 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 right they could have just said she was like from America okay. or something, or like from Germany or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> she's Yumi, Someone already sits there. He just stitched today. That's too bad. Which means he's not here. So now it's yours. All right, take your seat. The spot is perfect. Hey. My highest priority is to be with him at all times. Oh no. I guess you can't just fucking tell everybody your mission. What is it? Uh, Yukari, why do you stand up? Uh, why? Uh. Good to see everyone's getting along so well. <laughs> but yeah. do me a favor and save the drama for after class. <laughs> Give me a break. She has fake feet. Yeah, she put on little fake feet so that she could blend in. I oh. think it'd be funnier if she just didn't. It's a message from Sonata. I have something important to take care of after school, and I want you to come along. I'll be meeting, meet me there. Okay. Meet me there. Okay, we'll finish. We'll finish this. We'll finish this. 
right, let's go meet him. There you are. I've got an errand I want you to help me with. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Couldn't be me playing my childhood Game Boy games on my phone while we stream, no. Well, you know. Alright. Things have changed. Sorry, but I'm not taking no for an answer this time. What? You're, this you're belongs going to you. in the cage. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Persona users just like us. Yeah, he already knows about them. He he buys drugs off of them. <laughs> so, that's not my problem. That's not everything. Amada has joined our team. <sighs> what the hell do you mean? He has the potential, and Ikutsuki-san approved it. He's a Persona user now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Y'all are fucking cringe. Cringe. Tell me one more thing. Don't you know what you've done? I've seen the tier list for P4A. <laughs> he came to us. I see. Then, I guess I'll stick around. So, you're in charge now, huh? Yay! Shinjiro is with us! Yay! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited! Time to do oh, his yeah. social link in one go! <laughs> Can you really? Yeah, cause... Cause he dies. You have to do it, like, uh, super fast, or else you don't get to finish yeah, 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 it, ever. Yeah, yeah, speed run it. <laughs> you yeah, have to right. speed run it, or he dies, and you never get to finish it. Yeah, that, frame, you're right. Frame perfect, frame perfect bonding with somebody. <laughs> Way. Me when I backward long jump over to the homie's house. The room's still yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay. He's a year older than me and seems to have lived in the dorm before. Though shrouded in mystery, he seems to be a reliable partner. In Persona, oh, in Persona 3 Portable, you can save him from dying, though. He just goes into, like, a coma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's only in the fem the female uh, MC route. Oh, hi. Guess what? We're gonna have a new friend, and you're going to fucking hate him, Ken. But he uh, makes some sick curry. Alright. Uh, I think we should just save here. I'm gonna save here. Um, and then I think we're gonna end the stream for the night. How about that? So we're gonna turn on our- oh fuck. Where are we? Okay. We're gonna turn on the stream ending. And then we're just gonna say our good nights. How- how did- how does everybody feel tonight? I'm happy. I- I'm very excited to be playing my old Game Boy games again. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Alright. Uh, oh. I'm- Blip, 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 blip. I'm gonna end. The, I'm gonna return to the title. You guys can't see this, but we're ha it's happening. Um, and then I'm gonna close the the game. Yeah, a device was disconnected. Anyways, um, anyways, thank you guys for joining me, and um, I I don't know. I'll see you on Wednesday, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. What I don't know what to do on Wednesday, but maybe we'll build. I don't know. Maybe we'll build a bunker for. Maybe for perhaps the, for the the in the Sims Four. <laughs> maybe that sounds I, like it'll be fun, yeah. Maybe I should edit my sim my sim so that Ava can get pregnant. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh fuck! Here we go. All right. Anyways, bye bye. <laughs>